Hey everyone, I wanted to talk to you about a topic I'm kind of passionate about. Uh, artist block or being overwhelmed with so many options and choices. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the reason why I have recently gotten overwhelmed. Now this happened a few years ago. And if you notice this beautiful studio that my hubby said that we could build. So we were, uh, we were kind of, well, there's no easy way to put it. We went through a family tragedy of our own and I had been faced with artist block. So that, the problem for me was that being creative was my way of coping. I no longer had my ability to cope. I needed very much to get back to that. And this was also a very big incentive with my studio space as well. Now, it also has a combination of a guest room, so there was other property, properties of having the studio space, and that was in case my mom and dad needed to move in, this, you know, that kind of bit. So, anyway, one of the things that was suggested to me is to do a video on kind of like being overwhelmed with so many choices. You want to, you want to be creative, got all that cool stuff, now what? And, and I don't know where to start. So part of that process is the same kind of process of overcoming artist block. So I want to share with you some simple things that I did. I will break them down in other videos and also give a little bit more history in other videos of how I overcame and what I was doing. At any rate, in the meantime, let's get started so that you can get started at home. Now the point of me showing you the space is not to brag. The point of showing you the space is so that you can understand where the pressure was for me. Um, all of a sudden it's like, okay, I've got this beautiful space now. He's made this for me. There's so much love in this. It's like, okay, now be an artist. And it's like, the spotlights are on. I, 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 I've got to do something now. What, what am I going to do now? So I'm walking into this space and I'm frozen. I'm, I'm stuck. What, what am I going to do? At any rate, I reached out and I knew all the therapy tactics. I knew why I was upset. I knew what was going on. I knew all the feelings. I knew all that stuff. So we broke down some of the steps pretty easy. And that's what I'm going to share with you. But I'm also going to share a little bit more. This is a little embarrassing, but I think you'll get the point. Okay, so part of this is mainly talking about overwhelming choices. Okay, I've done a lot of quilting. That's all fabric. And now I'm getting into resin art. And I'm kind of, I'm finding my voice as an artist. I've started working through a lot of these elements here. And so now I'm collecting all these little bits and pieces of artwork and stuff like that. Or I should say art supplies. Now to do resin art. So what do I do with it? Well, let's figure this out together. All right, first step. See that space over there? That really free space? We're not gonna go there for a little bit. Not until we're ready, okay? But we're gonna come in here and we're gonna admire it. And our first tip, rule number one, from here on out, when you decide, okay, I wanna do this, I'm gonna make this happen. No more giving yourself a hard time. You cannot punish yourself. I didn't do anything today. I didn't do anything tomorrow. I didn't do anything three days from here. Oh crap, it's been a week and I haven't done anything. Commit to it for at least a month. And during that time of the month, oops, I just said time of the month, didn't mean that part. But during that period of a month, do not punish yourself. Just show up and try, okay? So this is the goal. This is where we want to go. So make it all pretty, play in your space, set up your art supplies however you want, organize, have fun with that part. That's kind of a safe thing to do in this space. But right now, creating-wise, we're not gonna do that. Creating-wise, we're gonna pick a different space. So this is a coffee table, kind of a kitchen area. I do color dyes over here. I do other wet mediums over here. But I've also got it as a coffee space. It does, right there, I have to brag a little bit. That was my compromise to my hubby. He got to have a little beer fridge. But at any rate, this little, let's see if I can pan down. This little coffee table here. 
this is our new safe spot. Now, this could be a little table in front of the, uh, in front of the TV. Could be the kitchen table if you want. You want it to be in a space that is not your studio. Okay, so then we got that figured out. What this is, is this is kind of a safe area. Okay, this is, doesn't have the pressure of being an artist. This has the area of play, area of safety. Okay, so this is, this is tip two. Find yourself a new space, just temporary, just so that you can open up your wings a little bit. Okay, step three. Get a small canvas. Could be a small notepad. I've got a couple notepads here. I've got a little small, like a Yupo pad. It's like five by seven or something like that. A uh, little notebook. It just happens to ironically both of those be purple. But just something. It could be picked up from local grocery store if you want. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Just something for you to use as a starting point. Okay, so that's, that's your third step your canvas, basically. Okay, fourth step. Fourth step here. You get three colors, just three. Now, it could be three color pencils. It could be three markers. It could be three paints if you want. Anything, keep it simple. And this is where the brilliance of simplicity comes in. With picking out three colors, and then you have your small canvas. Let's see if I can pan down, right? Yeah, we're getting better at this. Okay. Um, with having a small canvas and just a few colors, it allows you to keep it simple. As far as the process, meaning not a lot of heavy load on your on your mind, on your heart, on the overwhelming properties of it. Now, what you create here, the, the sky's the limit. You could be as simple as you want. You could just do colors. You could just start blending. You could play some techniques that you've seen in a video. Anything you want to do on your canvas is up to you. But just start with three colors for now, okay? Remember, whatever you want to do here is fine. But just start here and start here. So two areas, three colors, and one small canvas. That's the two areas I mean. Okay, so do that and do it until it's easy for you to go grab three colors, come down, start working on it. You'll know when the urge to get to bigger canvases to add that fourth or fifth color. You'll know when that hits, and don't pressure yourself. It could be a week for you, it could be a month for you, you know, it could be a year. And who knows, and it could be like, like today you're able to jump in and start doodling. But tomorrow, let's say your mama, you know, and you have a fight, and it really crushes you down, it weighs heavy on your heart, and you really can't art today, that's okay. You can organize your studio if you want to. You can go talk with your friends. You can go do things that take care of you. Come back, start simple, work your way back up. I'm gonna do a series of these videos to give you the hints and tips that I use to help me get out of my pickle, and I still struggle with it. Now, I'm about to show you a sneak peek of what I did fairly, well, I'll just show you. So hang on tight. Okay, I wanted to talk through this before. Uh, I showed you my little surprise. So about, I guess three and a half years ago, we started on the project of building the studio and the pressure weighed on and I started, you know, really working hard on my creative block and being overwhelmed with you know, my choices. I mean, all the feelings go into both, both titles. Um, and I started working hard on it. Well, of course, building an artist studio, you want to leave your mark, right? So the bathroom area of the guest room, I wanted to do something smart or special on it. And I started obviously working on it in construction and of course I couldn't do anything small, I had to do something big. But the point was is that I worked through some of the little steps 
and some of them I had to start all over again, even in the process of doing this project. I had to go back to simple and then build it back up quickly so that I could continue and finish this project out. But I did get it done, so the steps do work. And sometimes even today, I have to go back to being simple for a couple days and then go back to my complex projects. So if the trauma's been really big and really heavy, expect that and be okay with it. You will get past it, it will get easier, and I'll, I'll share with you everything I got. So here's the cool surprise. Okay, so here's my surprise. Now I do like to mess around with mosaics from time to time, and the bathroom just screams I have a mosaic. We need to have a big shower in case we need to wheelchair my mama in. Well, whoops, I gotta go the other way. And that's my mosaic that I had to do. That's like nine foot <laughs> ceiling on that thing. First day putting in the black outline, walked away going, oh, what have I got myself gonna do? But I love it. It worked out great. So we can walk this through and I will share everything I can with you. Okay. So subscribe and hit that like button, but more importantly, hit the bell so you know when I put the next video up. See you later.